Hey guys, I am back with another book that has left a pretty good impression on me. Um, not a serious impression, just more or less, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, this book, we, the next book that we are reading on the virtual book club that I started on Facebook. If you're interested in joining, please look me up on Facebook and I'd be happy to have you. Um, our next meeting is on June the 7th. Uh, so yes, uh, the author of this book is quickly becoming one of my top five favorites. Um, so I had read a previous book by her, Big Little Lies. Uh, you may be familiar with the HBO series, which did pretty well in the first season. Um, I read Big Little Lies about three times, so if that says anything, um, it, it's a great book. The author is Leanne Moriarty, and what I read was What Alice Forgot. Um, this book was 488 pages. I read it in five days. Um, it took me a little longer. The font was a little smaller and uh, not as dark, so I just had to focus a little more. Um, plus, I was a little busier this week, um, so I went back and forth between the physical copy and the audiobook copy just to make sure that I got through it in time before the book club meeting. This is the Berkeley Trade Paperback reprint uh, that was originally released in 2012. Um, and yeah, this is, this is really a good book. Fast paced. Uh, one of the things I liked about it was the fact that it was fast paced, how the story unfolded, the writing is great. Um, she's really good about just letting things slowly unfold, um, uh, letting you see the steps in human emotions and like grief and love and things like that in the surprise ending. It'll get you. Um, it, it certainly got me. Um, it was a surprise ending that made me happy. Uh, what the book's about, uh, Alice, she's a 29-year-old woman who's happy, pregnant for the first time, and in love. Um, but she wakes up at the floor of the gym, something she's never considered she doing in her whole life, and she's being taken to the hospital, and she learns that she is now 39 going on 40 and has lost the last 10 years of her memory. She now has three kids and is getting a divorce. She has to navigate her new life, mending old relationships and figuring out what happened between her and her husband. Um, she literally has to start over, but all the chips have already been laid down. Um, so uh, themes that I found in this book were, of course, memory, uh, nostalgia, love, family, and I, again, my personal favorite, which is the search for oneself. Um, she had to rediscover who she was, who she had become, and how she can uh, change that. Uh, I gave this book a five out of five stars on Goodreads. Um, this is a book that I can pick up, enjoy, um, and put it back down and just be happy that I read it and move on. Um, it's not a book that's gonna linger on me so much. Um, and I will read it again. So that says a lot, I, I think. Anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Um, don't know what I'm going to read next, but uh, I have a stack next to me, and I will make a decision soon. See you soon.